So lately I've been discussing a lot about like what's going on with inflation, uh, the economy and the impending recession that's going to come. And I've been doing these podcasts just to kind of warn people about what's going on and understand that you have to provide value as things get worse and go forward. As money gets tighter, people are going to be tighter about where they spend money on. And so many of us have this like negative view our relationship with money. All money really is, is just a transfer of energy for providing immense value. I really wanted people in this episode to understand the idea that price is what the clients pay and value is what they get. So I broke down in this episode four strategies to help you increase your value and understand that if you can have immense value offered to the client, the price isn't going to matter and you're not going to be shopped on price and you're going to be able to get people to fully commit and understand that this is something that they truly need to have in their life and invest. So not only can you survive the upcoming shitstorm, but also thrive. And I used a lot of choice language in this episode, so please don't listen with young children around. I hope you enjoy the show. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution podcast, where we teach massage therapists a new treatment method that focuses on working smarter, not harder, allowing them to make well over $100,000 per year with less than 20 hours of time per week in the clinic. Dr. Matt Maggio here. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the podcast. I'm always grateful for all our, all our downloads, people reaching out, and really just trying to get quality hands-on soft tissue treatment to more people so they can stay the hell away from pain pills, injections, and surgeries, which only make things worse. I'm going to jump into the podcast here in just a second, but um, I just wanted to genuinely um, ask you listeners, um, you know, we're getting a lot more downloads from all over the world and, you know, just genuinely ask you a favor. Uh, I don't ask for a whole lot. Um, my whole mantra is, you know, give without the expectation of ever receiving back. But what I'm really just asking you for is to continue to share the show. Uh, if you haven't reviewed the show yet, I'd be honored if you gave me a five star review. You know, if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify, that really helps. Um, but most importantly, go get my free training. Um, I talk about the free training a lot. We've had a lot of people download it, but I want more people to download it because in all honesty, and this isn't me just tooting my own horn, it's better than any free, I mean, ugh, better than any paid course you're ever gonna get out there. I put so much information out there just to help people. At the end of the day, I just wanna help people. And I'm not trying to sell you anything. You know, there's so many people out there that give free shit away and they're trying to sell something. I'm not really trying to sell you anything. I just genuinely want to solve the pain pill epidemic problem. And I can't do that myself in my own clinic. I need other people that can learn, start thinking critically, look at their business and their life differently and really get to that solutions type of thing, you know. It also gives you just a chance to see what sets my system apart from others. And in all honesty, if you want more, yeah, you can come learn and you can come train with me. That would be awesome because you could really take it to the next level. But the way I set up the training, you can get a shitload of value without even having to come and train with me or even travel. So if you haven't at least got the free training, go grab that because I put a lot of effort, a lot of information out there because I really just want to help you become the best practitioner that you can have. So perfect segue from that to what my podcast is going to be about today. Understanding that price is what somebody pays, value is what they get, so I know recently, probably two podcasts ago, and I've been talking about it a lot more. Why am I talking so much about money lately? Because in all honesty, we're in for a rough two or three year patch. You know, back in 2020, I thought this was going to come sooner when things got shut down, supply chain, money, people not working, economy, all that shit. I thought it was going to hit right away. It didn't, but now it's showing. Things are getting pretty rough. You know, I just saw today, I got a thing in the mail um, for my utilities company. And they're like, yep, we're just raising rates by 5%. I'm like, well, okay, what are we going to do? We need heat, we need energy, we need all that. But that's what's happening. Shit is going up. Money is going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. And so many people don't understand the role of money, what money does. They get real emotional with it and they don't charge accordingly. They try to lower their prices. They try to do a lot of other shit. They try to do too much on a treatment and it just ends up fucking everybody over. Um, and then 
good practitioners, they fade out. I mean, a lot of you that are listening that are still in it, like you fought through it. There was some touch and go times there with COVID and everything like that. And you're still here. But if you start to understand value in money and the role of money and just giving your best to the client in front of you, you'll be in a really good place. Because at the end of the day, here's something that you need to understand. You can't compete on price. You just can't. There's always going to be the hand in stone. There's always going to be massage envy. There's going to be those places that are going to do it for cheaper. There's always people out there that will do it for cheaper. And if you try to compete with price on that, you're going to be stuck because your bills are going up. And if you continue to get your margin squeezed and tightened, you're not going to be able to survive. And if you continue to try to compete on price, it's not going to make a huge difference. And at the end of the day, like, if you're raising your prices five bucks or so, it really isn't going to make that big a difference. What you really need to be able to do is take it to the next level. Um, let's talk about value. So the more value that is perceived by the client, once again, as I said earlier, um, price is what they pay, value is what they get. So when the client perceives more value, this is what you get in return. Number one, they're just willing to pay more. People pay more for valuable things. And if they can perceive that you have more value than the more cheaper alternatives, they'll be willing to pay more. And number two, they're willing to make it a necessity or a priority. You know, if you're stuck in that luxury base, you know, relaxation type of model, like at the end of the day, if things get tight, people are going to cut that out because they look at that as a unnecessary expense. But when it's something truly valuable, it's solving their problem, it's helping them, they're going to find a way to make it work. They're not going to cut it out. So there's four components to value that I want to cover in this episode. And basically what I'm going to do is share each one and then show you some tactics and strategies that you can use to increase that value. Because like I said, if you have more value, people will pay more and they will invest in it more. So number one in the value equation what is their dream outcome? What does that mean? Like, what are you going to give them? What are you going to solve? Are you solving a specific problem? Hey, if you have someone that's been dealing with a neck problem for say 10 years, they've done everything, they're in pain, their life sucks, and you can take that pain away from them and you can solve that, that is a motherfucking awesome dream outcome. Think about that. Like, that is on a different level. If you can truly get their quality of life better for them. So, Getting your mind wrapped around the idea, are you a commodity or are you a solution? I made a whole podcast about this, but when you're stuck being a commodity, people base you on price, they base you on availability, um, and they kind of compare you to everyone else out there. In all honesty, anyone can make someone fucking feel better in the short term. Anyone can make them relax, but not a lot of people are actually fixing and solving problems, especially in the conservative care model. I've been very boisterous about why I think chiropractic's bullshit, why physical therapy doesn't do a hell of a lot of anything. And the way to get conservative care cleaned up is people need to see quality hands-on soft tissue treatments from practitioners trained in massage therapy because you have the best goddamn hands in the world. But if you're really promoting relaxation, that's not like a real, oh my God, this is life-changing type of thing. They're like, yeah, okay, well, you know, you charge 80 bucks for that, but I can go to Massage Envy and get relaxed for 50. Like, eh, you know, they might choose that. So don't get stuck in that commodity trap. And then the last one is really dialing in with the client and asking the right type of questions. And I go over this in my free training, but the most important question, we had a podcast about this a couple of weeks ago, <sighs> Connecting with that client emotionally and like truly asking them, how is this problem affecting your quality of life? Like really asking them because when people are in pain and they can't do the shit they want to do, they wake up in pain, they're not able to focus, they're thinking about doing injections or thinking about going on pain pills, like that can fuck with their life. And if you can avoid that and take that pain away from them and fix their problem, that is a really awesome dream outcome. So number one, what is the dream outcome? It ain't about relaxation. It ain't about recovery. It's about performance, fixing a problem and solving issues. Whew. Number two, the belief that you as the practitioner can truly solve their problem. Think about that. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can do and we can help here. But when you truly have that idea of like conviction. Conviction is like, you know what? I'm the best at what I do and no one else is even on my fucking level 
in my area and you'd be stupid to not come and see me, that's some conviction. And when you can eloquently explain to the client, not only what their problem is, but how you're going to fix it and why you're the best solution. People are like, here's my money. Do what you need to do because I believe that you can do it. And you know the best way to get conviction from that and get conviction in yourself? Get fucking better. Once again, get fucking better. Like I get this all the time. People are like, oh, I took one course and I'm not any better. You know, I'm good. You know, maybe I'll take it again. No, continue to get better. Continue to invest in your skills. Be so fucking good that they can't ignore you. I practice every day and I've been doing this shit for 12 years and I'm always getting better each day. It's amazing to me how many people get set in their ways and they get stuck in that mediocrity loop of like, yeah, I'm good. I took a couple of seminars, whatever. No, continue to go to those seminars. The ones that work the best, do them over and over and over again. And then you know what? Do them some more and continue to hone in on your skills and practice. Don't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm booked up. I'm good to go. No, motherfucker. You can be way better. I brought a lot of energy today. I had a lot of coffee, but that's okay. You can be a lot better as you go across. All right. Number three, how long will it take to get a solution or resolution? I've been talking about this. I've been banging this fucking drum for years. 15 minute treatments are better than 60 minute treatments. If I can solve and fix a problem in 15 minutes or 20 minutes, that might take someone 60 minutes, 90 minutes, two hours, I am five to six times better. That is just facts. Because at the end of the day, you have to understand people that have money, they value their time a hell of a lot more than they value the money. So you're actually missing out on a lot of people because most people, when they look at like traditional massage or therapy, they're like, yeah, I know I should go, but fuck, I don't have an hour to go in there and get the massage and do that and then go back to work. But you're missing out on a huge demographic out there because a lot of those people that you're spending an hour, hour and a half with, they don't value their time as much. And they're just like, hey, just do whatever. And when you get into that realm of selling your time for money, you're fucked. All right, number four, how much effort and sacrifice is it going to take from the client? I said this in the above one. It's a lot easier to come in two times a week for 15 or 20 minutes than one long session. And the other side of that, it helps you as the practitioner too. It puts less wear and tear on your body and actually allows you to be more effective with their treatment. You know, so many people do that kitchen sink approach. They're like, I'm going to do everything in one visit. I'm going to cup them. I'm going to stretch them. I'm going to do corrective exercise. I'm going to do deep tissue. I'm going to do all sorts of shit. And what you're doing is you're getting diminished gains. I always say treatment is like a medication. You want to give enough to be effective, but you can actually do more and be overly effective and cause problems. So this will actually allow the client to see, you know, substantial results quicker. And that's what my system teaches. It's all about getting to a a safe, effective, and durable treatment. And the durability component of the treatment is the key part. Like the client actually sees with objective tests, objective measurements that they're getting better. Not just like, Hey, how do you feel? And it's not a huge sacrifice on the client. It's pretty fucking easy to come in for 15 minutes and get in and out and back with your day, especially people that are busy, that have money. They don't have a lot of extra time. And if you can do it faster, you can do it safer. You can do it more effective. Fuck. That's where your value is at. So I want to give an example of this so you can really understand. So if we look at the value equation on the top part is going to be dream outcome and belief that you can solve it. And then there's a line. And then the other part on the bottom is going to be how long will it take and how much effort and sacrifice is it going to take? So a perfect example that I would give for this would be say somebody is having trouble with anxiety. They're really stressed. So they got two options for that. Number one could be learn how to meditate. Yeah, great. Uh, number two could be Papa Xanax. Okay. So you got both of that. So dream outcome, you know, what's the dream outcome? The dream outcome is that I'm going to feel better. I'm going to have less anxiety. I'm going to be able to relax more. So can meditation get that? Yes. Can Xanax get that? Sure. Number two, belief that they can achieve it and it can be solved. Now Xanax. Sure. Yeah. If I pop a pill, like I'm going to feel better. Yeah. Cool. Meditation, eh, it's harder for people because it does require them to commit to something to do that activity and they're not really sure if it's going to work. So now we get to the bottom part of the equation. How long will it take 
Meditation takes a long fucking time. It takes a lot of stress. You have to practice it, be diligent about it every single day. Xanax, you pop a pill, five minutes later, you feel better. And effort and sacrifice, yeah. Meditation takes a long time. You gotta devote your time to it each day. Xanax, not much. You get the pill, you take the water, and you feel better. So this is why Xanax is a $15, $20 billion industry and why meditation's never really been a huge disruptor in the industry because of that value equation. So, so many people focus on the top part of that, dream outcome and the belief that you can solve it, you know, with testimonials, you know, telling clients how much better they're going to feel and everything like that. And that's cool and you can be there. But where people really make a difference and where they compete is on the bottom part of that. Doing it faster, less effort and sacrifice from the client and from you. That's where you need to focus your value. Do it faster. Do it better. Do it more efficient. Get so fucking good that nobody can ignore you. So understanding value is tremendous in the upcoming shitstorm that we're going to see over these next two or three years. It's coming. Like you can pretend it's not, but it's coming. And as you can see, I'm pretty fired up about it because there is opportunity. There is a chance for you to really thrive and set yourself apart where it doesn't matter what happens with the economy because you are solving a specific problem. The world needs more problem solvers and less people providing service. So that's all I got. I apologize for a lot of profanities today, but when I get excited, I like to swear. That's just that's who I am. Um, so once again, go share the show, go grab that free training. But lastly, challenge yourself to be fucking great. The only thing that truly pays in this world is being awesome. And when you can do that, it doesn't matter what else happens in the world. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you want help on the path to being able to double your income, all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider, I have some great resources for you. Number one, get access to our free training modules and introduction to my system, The Peak Method. Number two, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Links to all of this can be found in the show notes. Lastly, if you like the show, please leave us a five-star review and share it with others that you know it could help.